homes in ruins, levelled by Russian missile strikes. The residents of Vishgorod, a city in the Kyiv region, look at the damage done to their neighbourhood. We are temporarily renting accommodation. Our apartment is destroyed. The walls are cracked, the ceiling is cracked, the windows in the balcony are broken, everything is ruined. But I hope the winter won't be too harsh. Since October, Moscow's strategy has been to target Ukrainian energy facilities, heavily disrupting the power grid nationwide. With temperatures plummeting, many will have to deal with rolling blackouts. I live in an apartment in a two-storey building. It's run down. When there is electricity, they turn on the heating at night. And now we have power for four hours a day. It's been nearly a week since Russian strikes severely affected energy and water services. Sites like these have been set up for residents to keep warm. Ukraine's biggest private electricity producer said it would reduce electricity supply by 60% for its consumers in Kyiv. The national grid operator, meanwhile, said on Monday it had been forced to resume regular emergency blackouts across the country. The US Secretary of State Antony Blinken will announce on Tuesday a new help for Ukraine in improving its power transmission. The EU has given Kyiv money to buy equipment such as generators.